what's up everybody welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by again as usual taking time out of your busy day to watch these videos you know i like making them and keeping you up to date on what's going on with some of our favorite projects obviously if you're watching this you're interested in some of the things that i am today obviously we're talking to talk about quant they've had a lot of um some cool announcements happen over the past few days and i discovered some cool articles had some analysis i wanted to share with you guys on what was going on so i'll try to keep this you know to the point and everything i know sometimes these videos can get to be a little long on certain people's channels but i'm trying to keep respect your time and just get into it here because it's really good to know if you're into quant right now maybe you haven't seen um you know you might not stay on top of every little tiny thing but essentially very recently um overledger just you see one of their very recent announcements and we covered their license fees in one of our last quant videos but essentially quant is now developers will be able to use overledger's api to choose which qrc20 functions they want to include in a smart contract and dlt fees can be paid you'll see qrc20 is the new multi dlt standard for digital assets developed by quant so they are developing their own standard they're going to be able to you see right here its purpose is to unlock single dlt limitations for new digital assets and tokens so essentially they're going to be able to if for smart contracts functioning on ethereum erc type tokens those will now be able those companies those tokens will be able to operate on quant so quant just another indicator that quant is really becoming that master network connector um, you know, remember their partnership with Oracle, their partnership with other places like LCX, they're really going after the interoperability on everything. So you see right here, um, the q and investor on Twitter says this is actually really big. That's what we just discussed is that new development. So this is going to allow things like uh, any, like we said, any kind of ERC20 token is going to be able to be connected. So you see right here, this is another really cool chart i found from crypto eugene he says literally nothing even close to what we're all about like it's crazy laughable how advanced we are to everyone and everything crypto related like people say on twitter about this it's like like i'm deaf to their noise unless it's quant it's nothing look at this chart he has here shout out again to him this is awesome just a reminder oracle we're about to actually get to that we're about to get to that especially with them becoming and especially with quant making their own token their token a qrc20 token will be essentially a token an asset class that will be able to be mlt instead of being on just one distributed ledger network like one central bank has you know every central bank might have their own central network their own central bank digital currency quant they will be this is just another step in that direction where they will be able to exist on multiple ledgers that is big there's not really any other there's no other asset that can do that right now that can transform their core structure across multiple ledgers not that i know of so you see oracle ha you see all of these moby paid at uk climate chain coalition alliance block we've talked about alliance block aws hyper ledger nvidia Nvidia is going to have a huge hand in the metaverse. When we're start, when we're walking around wearing optics on our heads and everything, just in day to day, they're they're definitely going to be involved in that. So, you know, Quant is going after some some big people here. And just recently, this is actually another really recent announcement with Quant. You see right here, or with uh, related to Quant Oracle, which is one of their partners. You see here that we just covered. Oracle is just, they just bought Cerner, which is a $28.3 billion acquisition of Cerner. Now, Cerner is a very large electronic health records. That's what EHR is. So what this is, is this, so you know that Oracle, they're essentially one of the biggest partnerships that Quant has. So this is an example right here where this paves the way to reduce patient data silos and interoperability challenges among hospitals and health systems, some analysts predict, according to a December 21st report in the Wall Street Journal. So check this out. This is really cool. And this is this is definitely related to Quant because Oracle's partnered with Quant. So you see right here the play. Here's the play. The wide range of EHR platforms and lack of interoperability, there's that word again, among healthcare organizations hinders providers from easily sharing patient records, which in turn limits insight on patients' health. That Oracle Cerner deal 
aims to create a cloud-based platform, quant connections, that could potentially alleviate these data sharing challenges, said Natalie Schbell, a senior analyst at Forrester. By acquiring Cerner, Oracle said it will be able to provide clinicians with digital tools that will make it easier to access information from the cloud. So all your patient data, if you if you go to a doctor's office or you go to one medical place, chances are, you know, your records are across a lot of different places, you know. So on the back end, Quant, by their partnership with Oracle, you can see Oracle's making the play. Who do you think is going to be helping those hospital blockchain like every hospital may be on a certain blockchain it's all your records again are going to be tokenized you're going to be contained on that so quant helps make all of that happen compliantly and they do it in a really fast way so that you don't have to worry about anything uh you know going awry and again it allows that exchange from different types of ledgers that no other token is doing so this makes me even more like super i'm going to go buy some more quant today kind of thing you know like just over as long we're so we're gonna look back in five years. We're gonna look back in five years and be just just gonna be crazy. We'll be able to tell people we're buying quant under two hundred dollars. You know, see so you're here. Shout out Mason, Russ Lewis. One reason I know quant is an end game winner. Quant has a feature called MDAPs where you upgrade your Ethereum DApps to interoperable MDAPs. Multiple, you see with Overledger MDAPs. That the Bank of International Settlements has. MCBDC, which is a multiple CBDC bridge. So I think every different big central bank is going to have potentially their own blockchain. You see right here, there was another article I have right here. JP Morgan develops blockchain system for Siemens payment. So I've, I, I think that different banks are going to have their own preferred blockchains, right? But then Quant is going to be what actually connects all the different ones. We already know Quant's partnered with, the, with Ripple and the, the Digital Pound Foundation. And with uh, in you know in Europe going after that so in, in that central bank digital currency so this is going to be tokens that run here you see this other uh, tweet here from quant 111 tokens that will run on the QRC 20 standard by quant CBDCs wholesale and retail what decides bank shoes what we use bank stable coins securities bonds debt real estate derivatives intellectual property tokens from chains like ETH and with this stuff medical records all of that all of that is going to be going through quant you see right here though blockchain giant jp morgan chase has partnered with siemens to develop a blockchain system for the german industrial groups payments and what the two companies said was a first of a kind application it highlights the application that makes sure trying to find for blockchain digital ledger technology that records and verifies transactions and underpins cryptocurrencies Seaman said the improved automation is needed to process the far greater number of payments it expects due to the growing popularity of payment models like pay per use. So, you know, you're, you're seeing right here the infrastructure developed with Siemens by JC Morgan's blockchain unit, Onyx, takes programmable payments beyond current uses like direct debits and standing orders, like are said Naveen Malala, head global head of coin systems at Onyx. So, they're going to be at further signs and a further sign of banks efforts to incorporate blockchain technology into their operations hsbc and wells fargo said last week they had agreed to settle currency trades directly on blockchain so quant is going to be connecting all these together so that means it, but different banks can use their own blockchain we've talked about xdc is definitely going to be uh, tied into this where they're allowed to to tokenize different typically non-illiquid assets so there'll be a lot of different ecosystems that connect and move things around you know you'll see i think we just yeah you see right here hsbc and wells fargo to settle this is another article about the same thing so it's very it's very interesting for them to announce that they were developing this qrc20 this this standard is big because, as you know, I mean, if you're watching this video, you probably know this, but maybe you don't. And I'm sure you see the word ERC20 around. That means a token that's built on Ethereum. That's why Ethereum's worth half a trillion dollars right now. This is basically signaling, though, this is going to allow new tokens to be built on Quant. That means Quant can hop around since they're going to be that that master network. They can hop around, and other things will be built on it and just connected it together. It's just it's so it's it's a lot to wrap your head around and this is big too because 
you know lcx is another band we've shout out side comment leave a comment if you want to see me start covering more lcx i definitely love lcx if you're watching this video you may be into lcx as well this is a big player in the you see asset tokenization as well so quant is another another step forward there quant partnering with them um, they partnered with them a while back so this is just another big step for quant taking over that uh, st that phase there where they're able to you know start promoting and showing the world that they are ready for larger and larger use cases you know so that's uh, that's really exciting about this latest announcement now uh, before we wrap up here I found I had this really cool article here Jack Dorsey says BC involvement means crypto users don't own web3 and Elon Musk seems to agree so there was a tweet that this is the you know the head of of uh, of Twitter here. You don't own Web three. The VCs and their LPs do. It will never escape their incentives. It's ultimately a centralized entity with a different label. Know what you're getting into. So, and Elon Musk, you see here. Has anyone seen Web three? I can't find it somewhere between A and Z. It's it's interesting of what and Quanto is helping bring web3 together web3 is going to be built on it's going to be built on things like quant it's going to be around and, and quant is going to be that base layer that allows web3 to flourish so they're basically saying you know unless you're like a venture capitalist investing into the technology which is kind of what we're doing you know by owning these tokens we're we're yeah, we're able to it he says right here crypto users don't own the next version of the internet venture capitalists do but if you own the tokens that connect and build what this is in a way you can reap the benefit we might not have we might not own directly quant we might not own them but we can have a hand in how they operate and that's what buying and and having these assets is that these underlying systems are built on like quant so keep holding this is one that i feel like you know we're, we're gonna we definitely should see depending on what the overall market is doing for the past you know since september you see we've just definitely been in this bearish trend and so you know one thing one thing that i've learned uh recently is that with on this rsi you know typically anything that dips below the 70 starts to really you see it's it's going into like a bearish it's going into like a bearish trend and that's literally what we've been it, it cracked below the 70 on the rsi and we really just started going down we definitely went have been going down for the past several months and typically when you when you break over the 30 on this rsi is when things are considered to be going back more bullish so that was uh, it was good to see sure right back on december 11th um so about 11 12 days ago now so it'll be interesting to see short term uh, we could continue to see, you know, I think maybe a little bit higher prices. It just, again, um, just depends on what the overall market does. But this is a long-term hold. You know, I'm not going to try to, and it's really hard to predict things short-term, you know. It's really, really difficult to, unless you're someone who's done this for 10, 15 years, which I definitely have not. I just want to look at, like, macro trends and stuff. So I find that find that interesting. This is just, you know, 184 right now. So hopefully this video was uh, educational help you know give you something maybe you didn't know or just a new way to think and look about something but let me know about what you think you know currently are you buying more quant is this something that you're going to continue to buy i know a lot of you comment i'm continuing to stack it me too this is one that i continue to dollar cost average so hopefully like i said you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment please it really def definitely does i know you know it helps the channel grow i know everybody talks about an ask for it, please just leave a like it really only takes half a second and i really um, super appreciate you coming by and watching this and i'll see you on the next video